Understanding the Kinetics of Brahms PCT, Procalcitonin Procalcitonin, or PCT, is a sensitive and specific biomarker of bacterial infection. It is one of the immunoactive molecules involved in the immune system's response to infection. Let's see what role PCT plays during a bacterial infection, such as a respiratory infection. When the body recognizes a bacterial infection, it results in an inflammatory cascade. Toll-like receptors in the cell surface flag the presence of microbial toxins. In response, nonspecific inflammatory cytokines, such as IL-1-beta, TNF-alpha, and IL-6, which are present in the cell, are simultaneously secreted from the cell. Signaling pathways specific to bacterial pathogens stimulate PCT transcription and are translated into PCT protein. PCT leaves the cell and enters the interstitium over the next two to three hours. Since this stimulation is localized, serum PCT levels may be low at this point. If the infection is contained at this phase, PCT levels may continue to be very low and even undetectable in the capillary network. However, if the pathogen is not contained, infection spreads to other areas of the body and upregulates pro-inflammatory mediators. As infection progresses and systemic inflammation intensifies, PCT is produced by other tissues and cells throughout the body, such as bone marrow, liver, and adipose tissue, contributing to a dramatic increase in PCT. This process continues for another 12 to 24 hours. The sustained systemic inflammatory response can lead to a potentially life-threatening decrease in tissue perfusion. In response, lactic acid is produced in the cell and enters the serum. Fluid administration is required to improve tissue perfusion. Prompt antibiotic treatment for the bacterial infection is critical. It can take nearly 24 hours of appropriate antimicrobial therapy to see reductions in PCT levels. As PCT production diminishes, serum concentrations will decrease by up to 50% per day. PCT does not respond in the same way to viral infections. PCT production is attenuated by interferon gamma that is released during the host response to the virus. This is why PCT levels are low in patients with viral infections. Here are some key points about PCT kinetics. PCT reflects the severity of inflammatory response to bacterial infection. The magnitude of the increase in PCT concentration correlates with the severity of the bacterial infection. PCT levels begin to rise in three to six hours following bacterial stimulation and will continue to rise rapidly within six to 24 hours if the bacterial infection has systemic consequences. PCT has a half-life of 24 hours. As the infection is controlled, PCT will decline daily. Sustained elevation of PCT concentration is associated with increased mortality.